the worst cheaters on the Maury Show. The moment of truth can either break or make a relationship on The Maury Show. Today we count down some of the worst cheaters on the show. Tell us how you would react to any of these situations in the comments section. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Let's get it going. 10. Sean Sean admitted to his wife Nicole that he was a player before they met. He cheated on every single girl he ever dated. First of all, this is not the kind of man anyone should be comfortable marrying. If he cheated on every other girl, I don't know why Nicole thought that she would be an exception. You know how ladies believe they can change a man? Nicole was also positive that she would change Sean, even though she was perfectly aware that he had slept with over 120 women before he met her. Sean once slept with a woman in exchange for an Xbox. How low can he stoop? Nicole went to the Maury show because she suspected that Sean cheated again. Well, old habits die hard. Sean admitted to using Nicole's credit card to pay for dating sites, but he said he never slept with any of the women. He had the gut to say that Nicole should be grateful to have him as a husband. The lie detector proved that Sean deleted his Facebook messages to hide his secret affairs and that he goes home late at night after cheating. Also, he has slept with Nicole's friend and he gave his wife an STD. There are many women to choose from in case anyone would ever want to cheat. Of all the women in the world, I wonder why some men choose to cheat with their mothers-in-law. It's just sad. 9. Isaiah Isaiah admitted to sleeping with his wife's mother four times. He said it was a mistake and she was not even his type, but come on, four times? One time, maybe, can be a mistake, not four. Tanisha's mother, on the other hand, said that she had never slept with her daughter's husband, not even once. Angel took the test and the lie detector confirmed that she slept with Isaiah more than five times. Also, she initiated the romance that happened between them. The cameras followed them after the show to see how Tanisha reacted to the situation after the truth. You won't believe what she did. She hugged both of them and forgave them. She didn't do that after a couple of days of thinking about it. Tanisha forgave them on the spot. One of the producers said that he had never met anyone so forgiving on the show. Guess what? I have never met anyone that forgiving in my entire life. Cheating does not just involve physical attachment. Emotional cheating counts just as much as physical cheating. 8. Brooke Brooke cheated emotionally with a man she met online. When she was mourning the death of her grandparents, she became lonely and looked for comfort outside her marriage. Death may leave one very vulnerable, but that's not a reason to cheat. She went on to the show because she believed that her husband revenge cheated on her with his ex, Kim. She woke up in the middle of the night and found them on the couch and thought they were doing something. Well, obviously. Derek and Kim said that they didn't do anything even though Brooke saw pictures of them, including shirtless photos of the two of them. Derek said that the scratches on his back were from crawling when he was at work. They both took the test and the tables quickly turned. Derek admitted to having relations to one woman as opposed to the accusation that he slept with several women. It turns out, Brooke accused Derek of cheating to hide her affairs. She says she found hairbrushes and bands which didn't belong to her in the house. Putting into consideration that Brooke dated women for four years before she met Derek, we can comfortably guess where the brushes came from. Love can push people beyond boundaries they never thought they would cross, but how far is too far? 7. Matt Deidre forgave Matt when she found out that he cheated on her. She suspected that he cheated on her again, but she still stayed in the relationship. Deidre went on to the Maury show to finally face the truth. One night when they were together, a girl called Matt's phone and the guy got up, got dressed, and went to their door. The girl who called him in the middle of the night was at their front door. Some nerve. Matt denied ever cheating on his fiancée and he said Deidre was the cheater. Matt failed the lie detector test terribly. There was only one truth. The test confirmed that he never slept with the woman who knocked on their front door, but he admitted that he was actively pursuing her. Deidre always took Matt back after he cheated. However, she said there was no going back. That was the last arrow in the quiver. You may leave someone for someone else only to find out later that it was a terrible mistake. The grass is not always greener on the other side. 6. Rico Anna was married with three children when she met Rico, and she left her husband for Rico. Rico told her that he cheated on every other girl until he met her. 
This cliche is getting old. Cheaters need to come up with something new. Rico opted to sleep on the couch in their house with the hope that he would catch Anna sneaking out. They both installed trackers in their phones to build trust in the relationship, but Rico deleted the app on his phone. Rico said that he deleted the app so Anna wouldn't know when he caught her cheating. The lie detector proved otherwise. Anna told the truth when she said she never cheated on Rico. Rico, on the other hand, deleted the app to hide his affairs. It is also confirmed that he had an affair with an ex during his relationship with Anna. Also, when he was away for work purposes, he would sleep with other women. Siblings ideally stand up for each other. There's a code for this kind of thing. They don't snitch. Well, unless it's necessary. 5. Shantae Brian started having doubts about being the father of Shantae's daughter, Shannon. The doubts crept in after Shantae's brother Daquan revealed some shocking news. When Shantae got pregnant, Daquan witnessed her with three other men. He later told Brian that he wasn't the father of Shantae's daughter. Wow, the bro code is stronger than the sibling code. Daquan said that he revealed the truth because he wanted the best for his younger sister. Shantae worked two jobs and she takes care of her other children. She doesn't have time to mess around with other men. Okay, that was her argument. The results were out. In the case of the seven-month-old baby, Shannon, Brian was not the father of the child. It was true after all. Shantae slept with at least three other men at the time she was pregnant. She just chose the best father among the men and pinned the pregnancy on him. I know, we'd all want the best for our kids, but that is not the way to go about it. Couple friends are great. It's easy to organize amazing retreats or getaways when the couples are friends. Not forgetting all the fun that comes with it. 4. Trey Alexis and Trey and Ciara and Marquise did many things together. They ate together, played together, and went out together. After some time, Alexis suspected that her husband Trey and Ciara coupled separately. She convinced Marquise that their better halves were having an affair. It all started when Ciara started calling Trey Boomerang. According to Alexis, she said boomerang in a suggestive tone. In the 21st century, boomerang has a deeper meaning. Something else was going on between Trey and Ciara. They texted each other at around 2 to 3 a.m. What do they say at 3 a.m. that can't wait up to 9 or 10? Alexis suspected that Trey also slept with other women. One time she found a message sent to her cousin on Trey's phone. Guess what the guy said? My friend used my phone. Oh, I'm talking about a message on Facebook. His friend used Trey's Facebook to message someone else. Sure. The results were out. Ciara was clean. It was such a relief for the couple. Trey, on the other hand, was guilty of all accusations. He cheated on her with other women and hit on her family members. No more couple hangouts, I guess. Many couples go to the Maury show with the hope that they can mend broken relationships. One man, however, took it a step too far. 3. Kevin Jillian went to the show to prove that Kevin cheated on her. They took a flight together and arrived on the set. It turns out, Kevin didn't even need a lie detector. He cheated on her again the night before the show. One of the producers showed Jillian footage of what transpired, and it devastated her. Kevin met a girl on the show and took her to a hidden place. He checked the room for cameras and proceeded to cheat on Lillian. That wasn't a relationship worth mending. Jillian was sure what she wanted to do immediately after leaving the show. She needed to find a new man. A good man. One thing's for sure, if a man doesn't appreciate your efforts, you may go to unimaginable extents, but he won't be moved. 2. Dennis Crystal did everything to keep her man on her side. Dennis cheated on Crystal, and to make things right, he proposed to her. One year into their marriage, Crystal suspected that Dennis cheated on her again. One day, a woman called her and said that she was pregnant with her husband. Crystal still doesn't understand how the other woman got her number. She also claims that Dennis loves social media more than he loves her. He'd rather watch other women dance than concentrate on the woman in front of him who cooks, cleans, and wears lingerie for him. One time she went to his workplace and found Dennis talking to another woman. When she asked what it was all about, Dennis told her to go home. Mari set Dennis up in the green room with another woman. When she made a move on him, he didn't even make an effort to resist. Then there was another moment of truth. Dennis didn't impregnate any other woman outside his marriage. However, the lie detector confirmed that Dennis slept with other women when he was married to Crystal. It was also confirmed that he had relations with some of the women he met on social media.
Bigger girls sometimes feel insecure when their men hang around petite ladies. It's not that they don't have self-esteem, but society has painted a perfect picture of what's beautiful and what's not. I saved the best for last, but first I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. So if you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it. It really works. 1. Elijah Elijah proposed to his fiancée Christine in the best way he knew how. Christine loves her food, and Elijah placed a ring in a taco. Later, Christine was convinced that Elijah cheated on her with his friend, Tana. Elijah denied the claim, saying that he would never cheat with anyone who looked like Tana. There was enough evidence on social media that the two had an affair. They flaunted their love all over the internet. Elijah took the test to determine that he was truthful to his fiancée. The lie detector proved that he didn't love Christine, and he didn't want to marry her. However, he never had an affair with his friend Tana, so what's going on? Maury asked the question, Have you ever cheated on Christine with another man? Elijah said no, and the lie detector said that was a lie. The devastation that followed is beyond explanation. Thanks for watching, and have an excellent day.